Hi, this is Piotr Walczyn, Adobe Evangelist. So with the release of Flex 4.6 framework, I wanted to show you some of the new components that you can start using, especially when you're doing um, tablet development. All right, in order to do that, I developed uh, this simple app called Bluechips. Let's see what it is. So Bluechips is a native application built with Flex framework and Air Runtime. And of course, it's a cross-platform app, so it will run on iPad, Android devices, as well as Playbooks. So when it launches, you can see it's a uh, financial type of application where you can see uh, all kinds of uh, stock information, historical data for stocks from um, NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, and Amex. Um, so if I slide here, you can see it's, uh, it's a long list of, of different stocks where I can pick one, it refreshes, loads the historical data, demonstrates that, uh, in a nice uh, looking chart. So this whole view uh, is actually laid out in a in a two column uh, view uh, layout which is using the split view navigator component. So this is a new component that allows you to do this multi-part uh, views uh, for tablets uh, or other devices as well. Um, so now if I as well, I can here I have an additional functionality of the app, so I can I want to show you that when I rotate the device here, it actually um, hides the left side column, and also in this case it adapts to this um, portrait mode, so it hides also the sliding panel and shows on the bottom of the screen. But you may ask what happened with that left left uh, left side column. So now the left side column is available under this new component which is called callout button. So this button, when you tap on it, it pops up this panel where, I can, where you can see um, uh, all, all kinds of other subcomponents. And actually this list is exactly the same instance of the list from, uh, from the landscape mode. So I can again scroll here nicely and tap of any, uh, on the, any stock and it will refresh, of course. One more thing here, if I tap on the range button, again, it's a callout button. But inside of it, you can see it's, uh, it has uh, two components. Um, so it has uh, two controls, in this case, uh, date spinners. And they, this date spinner component is also a new feature of 4.6 release. So you can configure it either to show you date, date time, or time only. Um, so if I select different range, I can tap and it refreshes my view. One last thing I want to show you, if I go to edit here, it uh, pulls up uh, a long list of few, I think actually thousands of items. So you can see the performance is really native. Uh, so the scrolling is really good. Uh, so it pops up this list where I can filter it using again a spinner control here. So it's called a spinner list and it, it filters by different stock market uh, my, uh, my selections on the, on the top here. So if I add a couple of new ones, I go down, boom, it adds up to the list, refreshes, and that's it. Okay, so as you can see, uh, Flex 4.6 is all about tablets, and I encourage you to go ahead, uh, download Flash Builder 4.6 and Flex SDK, and start building really nice native apps with Flex. Thank you very much, and bye.